Hi guys. Well, we gotta listen to the music of the day. We are listening to The Heart and the Head. And this is on the album The Heart and the Head. And this is the song, you might guess, it's called Lost in My Mind. And it's uh, actually has more versatile lyrics than just Lost in My Mind. But it's a really good song. It's a lovely Saturday morning here. And um, California is suffering from a really bad drought. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's the worst one since records records history, um, which is about a hundred years. They're estimating the country's damages are in the 30 billions at this point. Um, so we really need some water here in California. And uh, I'm feeling a little lost in my mind this Saturday morning. And I'm uh, contemplating the differences between rationalizations and just going with your gut. And this morning I had the opportunity to uh, kind of blow off some important stuff here in Santa Barbara and jump on a tour bus with some old friends and new friends and musicians, writers, and soul searchers like myself and go cruise and I really wanted to and it would sacrifice, would have sacrificed a lot, you know, for myself. I know that sounds like, oh, why would it, why would it have done that? But, um, you know, right now I, I can't really just pick up and and leave as much as I would like to. I'm just kind of in the middle of some stuff, so it just wouldn't have worked. And I was like, felt really, really upset by that, you know. But um, it would have made a lot of people in my life feel really unloved, and ultimately people have put their self out, out there for me right now in a lot of ways um, with a lot of things that are going on here. So it came down to my life right now, my worth is how well I can love the people around me. So um, how irresponsible would it have looked? Hey, sorry guys, jumping on Taylor Swift's old tour bus, party, rock on, you know? Um, and that, uh, you know, I could have rationalized that because um, that looks glamorous and sounds really, really cool and that might have seemed like the very yurt girl thing to do, but at the end of the day, and the very free thing to do, but at the end of the day, it, it really wasn't. Um, so, at the end of the day, it really came down to you know, what, what decision had the most love incorporated in it and, and the, 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 the wider perspective. So, you know, sometimes our gut instincts aren't, aren't the right ones. And I think I struggle, I struggle with that because I don't feel like my, my wings are, the wings are clipped, you know, and, uh, that's what I wanted to say today. Um, and what else? Yeah, my old friend was in town, Ashley Chase, and uh, we saw some good music. Her um, uh, what am I trying to say? Anyway, yeah, good music last night. Ben Taylor played at Soho, and that's what's going on here in Santa Barbara. And people are I'm downtown right now. People are headed to play volleyball, and we've got like an early summer. People are excited about the weather, but I'm worried about just hot, hot weather, hot, hot weather. Hey, and for those of you who are wondering about my hat, it is not fur, okay? I don't even eat meat or cheese. So that's not fur, guys. And, uh,. Yeah, so today when you're making your decisions, um, I think ultimately it's good to weigh them and make sure that they are, you know, made in, it sounds cheesy, but made with love. So that's what I did. It was a hard decision because I'd be on my way to L.A. right now. 
on a tour bus, but I'm not. I'm here doing the responsible thing. What do you guys think about that? And uh, it feels fulfilling. I think I'm going to head to the beach.